What's up everybody, Slim Anthem here, bringing you another week of Anthem news. That's right, two weeks in a row. And I've got some exciting news to share with you guys, um, mainly surrounding about what happened as of Thursday. We got some incredible news from Treyarch and Activision that it has been officially confirmed that the next Call of Duty installment will be none other than Black Ops 4, which they kind of got cornered into the, a position where they had to announce it this early that that will be the next Call of Duty title because of the leaks that were going around. So it would have been anticlimactic for them to just hold on to that news for several more months. Because at this point, it was pretty much confirmed anyway that the next title would be Black Ops 4. So Treyarch decided to post on Twitter today that their next game will be Black Ops 4. They didn't release any other information other than when the when we'll get more news about the game and when the global release will be. Um, which I don't know if they're meaning like if we're gonna get like a trailer or if they're actually releasing the game at that point. But I believe it's October twelfth that the whole global release thing is. If so, that's gonna be a pretty early Call of Duty release date in comparison to the other titles that come out, because usually Call of Duty is known for having their games released in November. But if this is the case, then I guess that's just what T Treyarch wanted to do. But we'll get more information about the game coming up as of May 4th, because that's, um, that's the date that Treyarch posted on their tweet announcing when they will put out more information about the game. So there are some questions though that I am kind of curious and finding answers about after this whole announcement. So I got four questions, which I think is kind of handy because this is Black Ops 4, so I got four questions for that. Um, my first question being, is the storyline going to be the same as the other three campaigns or is this going to be a whole separate storyline? Meaning, are we going to have... Uh, connections from past Black Ops games of characters and storylines intertwining or what is going to happen? Are we going to figure out who David Mason's parents are? Or, well, we know his dad is Alex Mason, but are we going to figure out who his mom is? Are we going to, like, what what's going to happen? Is this going to be stuff that's going to connect everything together? Or is this all going to be just one separate storyline as it is? So that's my question I got for Treyarch. And then second of all, <coughs> I knew that was coming. And second of all, uh, why did they not use four Roman numerals? Or like, why did they not use the IV? Instead, they just put four tally marks in their little promo picture that they uploaded. Why... Is there some sort of significance to why they did that? Or did they just do that because it, just to stick with a trend or what? I don't know, it doesn't really make much sense to me, but I feel like it's gonna be somehow explained just from the release of this game. Because I don't know if if they did that for a reason or if it's just, or if it's just like, eh, we'll release it the way it is. So, I guess we'll find out. My third question is, when is this game going to take place? Are we going to expect a present day storyline? Or is it going to take place in the past or the future? God forbid that it's another futuristic game. Because, I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired about... I'm tired with all these futuristic Call of Duties. I mean, I love Black Ops 3. I enjoy playing it. But I just don't want another futuristic game. I want something different. I want something not mainstream. I don't want any of this futuristic bull crap. And nowadays it's going back to the past. And I don't want Call of Duty feeling like, oh, well, because everybody's going back to the past in their video games, now we gotta do that. No, Call of Duty has just gotta come up with something unique and different. Um, you can't go back to World War One or World War Two, because 
Call of Duty has officially beaten that subject dead. Like, I'm sorry. Call of Duty World War II was a great game. I, it still is a great game. I enjoy playing World War II, but the way Sledgehammer took, like, approach that game, there's no way you could beat that. Call of Duty should just stay away from the Mar or from the uh, World War era of their of uh, storylines. It doesn't mean that they can. It doesn't mean that they can't put out games that take place in the past because there's still things they can do. I mean, they can still find a way to incorporate Vietnam War, um, maybe the Korea War, maybe the Gulf War. I don't know. Just anything. They can do anything. But um, I'm really hoping that they take a present day approach to this new Call of Duty because I don't know about you guys, but we are in desperate need for another for another modern modernistic Call of Duty. Because it's been since 2011 that we got an installment of that we got a Call of Duty installment that took place in the modern time. And that would be World, uh, Modern Warfare 3, not World War 3. Um, now, that subject can't really be beaten dead as long as you change the plot. Because you can make it anything. I mean, history is history. You can't really toy around with it much. I mean, the future is... The future, yeah, you can toy with stuff because you don't know what's going to happen in the future. But nobody wants a futuristic game right now. So Activision, Treyarch, all those companies, they need to turn their eyes towards the present. What is it that they can do to make this game fun to play and different from all the other games that stand out there? It's their time to show creativity and how much and how much they've changed. And that being said, I have ideas of my own of how they could change the plot line and everything. One idea that I would have for a Call of Duty game is Call of Duty Brotherhood, in which your squad gets captured and the whole game is spent on on trying to survive behind enemy lines in a POW camp. And it shows how much you you're devoted to your to your squad mates, your technique you're pretty much brothers at that point. And it just shows the hardship and how and how devoted you guys are to standing for each other and the whole struggle of trying to escape and get out alive. That's my that's my idea for a game. But who knows, maybe maybe Treyarch will take a different approach. Maybe something we haven't even seen before. Um it, it just seems all narrow, like there's not really much options. There's not really many options to choose from. And that's because we just keep getting the same stuff over time. But I'm sure there's endless possibilities. There's many things that we can expect and get. Now my fourth question that I'm hoping will be answered is, in the tweet that Treyarch posted, they left a a little caption that said, forget everything you know. I don't know if they're talking specifically to the audience or if that's being referenced to in the game. Who knows? They could be talking specifically to the audience saying, um, everything you think about this Call of Duty game, don't even think that because we got something else that's going to rock your world. It could be that or it could be specifically something that takes place in the game. Maybe it's something that maybe it's something that we're not gonna expect, like all these ideas that we have for storylines, like who is David Mason's mother, stuff like that. Um maybe it will be something we would have never expected. Or it could just be or it could just simply be a fluke like Treyarch is just trying to just trying to pull our chain, leave us in suspense, and then kill our joy at the last second. Or it could just be something very 
simple as it applies. Like maybe the main character in this game gets amnesia and forgets everything he knows. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's one way to show appreciation to a mental disorder is the main character getting amnesia in the game. So, well, we don't know. There's not really much we can say at this point. We can only assume things until the next leak happens. It, it's just it's just stupid the fact that people keep leaking this information because it just ruins the surprise for everybody. Because a video game, because by the time a new Call of Duty game is out, people are like, "Oh, we already know what the next Call of Duty installment's gonna be," and it's like, <sighs> really? Because at that point, it's just waiting, waiting for the release. There's not really much of a buildup of anticipation. It's just a big buzzkill. But I'm hoping that with this new Call of Duty game, uh, Treyarch will bring some new ideas to the surface. And you guys are probably going to hate me for saying this, but I would like, for once in the Call of Duty franchise, for whoever's developing the game, to take a step away from the zombies. I mean, I love zombies, I love playing it, but it just gets old, guys. I mean, Treyarch did a fantastic job when they first started zombies, and then they incorporated it into the Black Ops series, and, and I barely got behind the idea of them having zombies in Black Ops 3, but it was all for the purpose of completing the storyline that they created in Black Ops 1. And I guess World at War, if you want to go that far, too. Um, but for games like Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, and Call of Duty World War II, you don't need zombies. It's just, it's just a copycat of what Treyarch started. Because it's all mainstream. Like, it's all what everybody's doing these days. Everything's zombies. Just take it. Just take it a different approach. And I kind of like what Infinity War was getting at when they came up with their extinction mode and Call of Duty Ghosts. But no, don't get me don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it was a good idea. I'm just saying that I like how they were trying to take it a different approach. But extinction was a failure. I hated it. It sucked like just aliens and you pretty there was no it felt like there was no strategy to that game at all it's like you try your best to just to survive and eventually you'll get fucked over by a bunch of aliens so i'm interested to see how they how they approach this game if they're going to continue with the zombie legacy or if they're going to take a different approach. Personally, I would like to see some more Spec Ops. Because it's been a while since we've had that. And I've always been a fan of the uh, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 Spec Ops. Uh, if, if Treyarch can focus on that, I think that'd be really nice. Now, for like a survival type mode... I don't know, because... Survival mode is one of those things that's kind of fun at first, but then it gets old. But zombies is kind of more entertaining than just survival mode. So maybe they'll come up with some idea, kind of like, kind of like Sledgehammer did in World War II when they added the war game mode. Because I thought that was pretty clever of them. So I guess we'll all find out on May 4th when the official announcement about the game itself, like what's going to happen, what can we expect, will be released to the public. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, it's kind of a it's kind of a tough situation for for Treyarch because they have a lot to live up to at this point. And that being said, uh, Sledgehammer had a lot to live up to because it was their turn to take the Call of Duty franchise away from the futuristic stuff and they succeeded. But now can Treyarch continue with this legacy of making a good games? Because the pressure's all on them because they've consistently been making good games.
Because there's no doubt in my mind that Treyarch is so far the leading game developer for the Call of Duty franchises. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, please hit the like button, comment below what your thoughts are, and hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you all later. See ya.